Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an input box. And this box is going to allow the user to submit text using the enter key and go down to the next line using shift enter. This is a typical behavior with instant messaging programs. So we're going to create a input box class. and it's going to be derived from text box. I'm going to define an event here and it's going to be called text submitted. This isn't necessary for me to do because the text property is public and it's just already available but I want to show you something anyways. So we're going to do string here. So it says in the tooltip that it's expecting the event args. It indicates that because the parameter name is t event args, but um, it really could be any kind of object nowadays. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use a string and it will compile. You cannot do this with .NET Framework version 4 or lower. It has to be event args. So I'm going to Show you, show you that right now. Let's do a framework version four, and it's going to tell me it's expecting event args here. Cannot convert the string to system dot event args. Okay, so let's go back to four point five, and override the on key down event. So we're going to check to see if the user is pressing the enter key and they're not pressing e dot shift. Um, well, they're not pressing the shift key. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to suppress key press. This keeps anything else from happening when the user presses the enter key. And then I'm going to check to see if text submitted is not equal to null. And if we have subscribers, then we are going to send in this as the sender and our string, which is this dot text. And after that, we're going to clear the um, input box. So this dot clear. We don't want characters to linger in the box because that doesn't really exhibit the behavior of, a, of an input box at all. Okay, and you might want to add a boolean in there. Could be called submit on enter. And then wrap all this stuff in that. You know, that's that would be kind of unnecessary. You just uh, do something like this. There you go. And there's not much else to it. So let's add our input box down here. Make it multi-line. And anchor it. And then we're going to hook to its event. Uh, text submitted. And we're just going to submit to the chat area, so append text. And the text is going to be E. And we're also going to add some new lines in there. So I'm going to add two new lines. And a new line consists of a return carriage and a, a new line character. And this is, from what I can tell, having to do with backward compatibility. That's pretty much all we need to do. Let's try it out. Okay, so enter and nothing happens. Okay, so I obviously did something wrong. Actually, you have to set the property to true that we created. Otherwise, it's not going to submit text. So the property is submit on enter. I'm going to set that to true and try it again. Every time I start up the form, I always try to click that submit button. I don't know why. 
and that's how you create an input box. Hey, look at this. It's a dark version of the fast color text box. Oh yeah. Doing work on that for a larger project should be fun. Anyway, see you later.